Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Hades Weapon Showcase series. My name's Andrew. I'm here to teach you how to use every single one of the weapons, as well as many of the aspects for them in the game Hades. And today we're going to be taking a look at the fist weapon. Now, the fists are considered to be, as you might imagine, a short-range weapon, but truthfully they can be a little hard to work with. You tend to take a lot of damage and... You can't necessarily do much in the way of high heat levels, meaning the stronger the difficulty, the more likely you are to get pounded on. What I'd like to demonstrate for today is the aspect of Gilgamesh. Now this is not the easiest of all the aspects to unlock, but it does give you quite a bit of choices when it comes to uh, how to attack or specifically how to keep defense, even though you might not think it. See. The aspect of Gilgamesh's biggest focus is on its ability to dash in and maim someone. Now, maim is just a fancy name in this case for throwing a dot-like effect for damage over time. Except for it doesn't hurt them slowly, it more like procs over time. Now, if you're familiar with the Doom effect in the game, you should essentially know what MAME does. Let's go ahead and demonstrate it again. You can see there's this claw-looking icon above its head, and then after a few seconds it goes off. Now, I've gone ahead and upgraded it to its maximum because, frankly, that dock can be quite powerful. To do so, it's pretty simple. You just dash in and quickly press the Y button if you're on the Xbox uh, or the equivalent button on any of the other platforms. I play on the PC, but it still shows the Xbox uh, button prompts. Not a big deal. So as you can see, he goes down pretty easily. We do still have access to, you know, our basic attacks and our basic special maneuvers and casting, of course. But really, this focuses on your use of the main ability and just sort of dashing in to do damage. So that's how we're going to play it, sort of an in-and-out type, uh, sort of an in-and-out like character Anyways. growth. So let's go over some of the options on how to make this the best build possible. So let's start first, of course, with our keepsakes. Now we could go ahead and come in here and analyze the mirror, see exactly what's best, but truthfully for this build, you'll find that the mirror is more of your own personal choice. And I'll go over that, of course, in a, in a separate video on how to just do uh, and optimize the mirror for your own experience. But let's take a look at the keepsakes. We've got a few to choose from. Now, the last build I ran was for lightning, so I was using Zeus, but that's not going to be the best for this fist. No, this, this fist weapon is really more of a two or three different choices to choose from. The first one would be the conch shell for picking up Poseidon. Now, this, this definitely has some downsides because, see, Poseidon's ability essentially forces the target away from you, which can be beneficial to make sure that the enemy doesn't strike you. But, at the same time, you're launching them away, which makes it more difficult to do follow-up strikes, because, after all, you're melee-based. Now, one thing I haven't discussed quite clearly, but let me elaborate on, is that this, this aspect of Enkidu, whenever someone has maim on them, you can see on the bottom hand, right-hand corner, that they actually deal more damage to you. So, it's important that we compensate for that effect in one form or another. That's what the, the aspect of Poseidon, or sorry, I should say the conch shell with Poseidon's ability can benefit. Like I said, it knocks them away, but it, it makes it more difficult to follow up with damage. I don't highly recommend this personally, if you're going to be starting right off the bat. Instead, I recommend either Athena. Athena's abilities, when they're attached to your special, allow you to essentially get deflect when you're using either maim or special, because maim is technically based off of a special. It's just a dashing special. Now, that's great, of course, because that means if you can keep that up, you can constantly be deflecting, including if you're playing your cards right. Uh, you can kind of just dash around the arena and just keep using that special ability. It's not per perfect, of course, but it gives you a good deal of... Uh, defensive capability, but obviously it doesn't focus on pure damage. The other main one I could think of focusing on is just the blood filled vial. That's specifically to pull in Ares. As I mentioned earlier, you know, we have Doom, and Doom is <laughs> basically another maim. So maim and Doom together, you get it off at the same time. It's a boss killer, really it is. It's gonna deal a quite a bit of damage especially if we start focusing on things like um, additional armor, penetration, and so forth. It's just, it's a killer. But obviously the downside is 
you're still rushing in to you know fight these guys, and if any one of them starts beating on you, you don't have that much in the way of defensive abilities. So you gotta you gotta shore it up somewhere else. For today, I want to go ahead and demonstrate a bit of a more risky build, so I actually do want to go with Ares, and that's mostly because any individual that wanted to could give this more defensive play a try. It's kind of more slow, and you can experience it on your own. I want to try to demonstrate how you can use Ares to your potential and uh, see what kind of numbers you can really achieve and you know get a good feel for everything. So let's go and pick Ares. And then, as always, I like to go with the Shady Companion. <laughs> Honestly, the, the benefit that you get in health and and other things along the way. It's just too too worth it to me, and it's a lot easier to work with than relying on a essentially an AI tank that this companion, the companion rib is. So let's go ahead and choose the com companion Shady. Now, for the moment, let's go ahead and... Obviously, I could go with 19 heat here, but I don't want to... I don't want to give a demonstration of an incredibly difficult run here. So let's go ahead and reduce just a few of these. Take heed. Lord Ares. Alright, luckily of course with my mirror, I always choose the ability to re-roll my boons because I find I never get the one right off the bat. We're looking for special here. And we do have it, although it's certainly not the best. I don't want to waste all of our re-rolls on just this one, so just take it for the randomness that it is pick up that special and move forward. Now remember, since we are so special focused, that's essentially all we'll be doing this round. Our overall damage. Now I've gone ahead and invested in increased health whenever I pick up Shadow. I really think that'd be helpful here. I've already basically gotten all the gems I need, so let's pick Shadow. Now, if you're not familiar with it, the benefit of a key, once you've already unlocked everything, is whenever you get one, it increases your chance to re-roll again during that run. So, it does have a use. Keep them coming. Now, remember, with both main and Doom, they're considered a one-application proc. What that means is, essentially, once you've applied the effect of main and Doom, you have to wait for it to go off before reapplying it if you want to get the full damage. And of course, if you're just trying to, you know, attack just to deal damage, that's perfectly fine. But just keep in mind, you can't stack up multiple, through you know, traditional means. You can't stack up multiple uh, procs of, uh, of main or origin on one target. There are ways around that to a certain extent, but right off the bat, no, it's just the one. Centaur Heart, as usual, always nice to have. Excellent. That's always great. I love when I get the, uh, just a standard room without the ability to, you know, have to work on it. So, um, Poseidon, I do like the idea of having him, but, hmm, I want to keep my boons focused on my goal, which, again, in this case, we want to see if that'd be helpful. So let's think this through. What would he benefit with us right now if we were to pick him up? Well, hmm... Technically, we can get a dash from him that would hit an opponent and force them away. That could be helpful, but technically we're dashing into someone. Let's see how that procs, and whether or not the 
dash from his ability would work at the same time we're applying main, which would mean that, uh, of course, we, we could basically hit someone and then force them to run away from us. Okay, so let's think these through. As I said, I was looking for the dash ability. This is the perfect version of it. So let's give it a shot, see if it works. Worst is the circumstances strength. that we just sell the boon later at a, at a well. So, as always, hammer is great. So I'm glad to see that came here. I'm appreciating this run for one. Hard to tell. These smaller creatures don't exactly have a lot to work with. And of course, these uh, spawn points for the skulls, they won't move no matter what. So we'll have to wait until the next room to see whether or not this is really appropriate for us. Oh, no, it does seem like it knocks them away after we've gone ahead and initiated the procs. That's a great thing. That essentially means that uh, we're. <laughs> We're going to be able to kind of uh, one-two punch here, basically. Knock him away, give him the bloody nose, not take the hit ourselves. So, let's see here. Wow, and the Daedalus Hammer is really great for us, too. Um, since we're using specials, uh, this is a benefit to everything. So, let's see here. After using your special, deal 90 damage in an area where you land. We're going to be doing a special a lot. So, this may be the one that we pick right off the bat. Let's see here. Rush Kick... Your special becomes a flying kick that deals 40 base damage twice. That can be a nice flat damage boon, and it's a little bit more under our control. And we'll think about that, especially because it's uh, it's nice to have. But I think that might only work on the regular special, of course, not our maim effect that we have. And then lastly, whenever your special slays foes, restore 2%. Now, that doesn't necessarily apply to the maim. I think under the circumstances, let's pick the quake cutter that seems to be the best. Now I kind of walk is. these through here with you, because honestly, I want to give everyone a chance to be able to really go through my thought process of what I'm picking and, and see how they feel about it too. So let's actually take advantage of this trove trial here. Uh, 150 gold would be really helpful. Obviously, we're not really going to be able to get the whole amount because it takes time to kill everything. But let's see what we can pull off. That was I've better things to do. There we are. Certainly quite a bit of power in this build, as you can see. I don't think it'd be as good as when it comes to this, uh, this boom side. I really feel like it's quite nice. Especially because one of the benefits of using the aspect of the mesh is that you get additional dashes on top of whatever you already have. And my mirror allows me to have two right off the bat, which, um, an additional two on top of that, I'm getting four dashes in total. So each one of those pushes the target away, uh, and of course does Should the damage proc. So. We have quite a bit of money here early on. Hmm, that dinging sound, in case you're wondering, is the sound of a fish here. Which, if you take a look, it's kind of just right uh, right here on the ground. 
If you've never fished before, let me give you a quick tip. Essentially what you're waiting for is the, the item itself is going to pull underwater ever so slightly. If it pulls down only slightly, it's not ready for pickup. You'll notice that there's a full, like, kerplunk, if you will, once it's actually ready for you to the press the button. Arise. Now, right there. here we go. I am victorious. Awesome. All right. I could use the more shadow with the skull icon that does indicate it'll be a harder enemy, meaning I'll get more health out of it. Let's go ahead and pick that. I could get a random boost from that nectar, but I'd prefer the health. save all my money and allow it to build up over the next fight, or I could invest it, of course, on something like the power-up and, of course, uh, Dionysus. Under the circumstances, I think I'll just spend for the power-up and then keep the rest, so let's see. Let's um, upgrade the damage here of our title dash. Stronger still. And let's see about taking on one of these sisters. I'm back, ladies. <coughs> I'll get you back from... Increasing the heat, we're not gonna be able to take advantage of that extra shadow health we'd be able to get off of her, so that's gonna make the run a little bit harder. But we've Next gone ahead and gained everything we can from Ares. Uh, technically, choose. we would get the 20% extra chance of a rare boon if we were to keep this, but there's no guarantee we're gonna get Ares anymore. Um, under the circumstances, I don't have that many boons to work with, and I'd like to level any of them up. Uh, so I'd like to pick Palm Blossom so that way we can slowly build them up over time. See you, Tartarus. Clear. Getting warmer. When in doubt, health is always helpful, obviously. So, seeing another sensor heart is definitely, definitely good on the eyes. Yeah, when you kill these creatures, they will drop a bomb on their death, so you want to keep staying mobile, which obviously benefits us here with this, this configuration. We're constantly moving anyways. A helpful tip to give you uh, uh, for the future, whenever you uh, put Maim or Doom on a target that's still armored, Keep in mind that no matter how much damage you deal, it will only break the armor's status. It won't actually kill the creature. So you have to break the armor, then re-break them, or kill them off. So uh, consider that when you realize your main might go off. Let's see, I do want to continue getting more health, so let's get the shadow gun. I'm 
referring to. It procced, but only did the armor damage. Chaos. Chaos is always beneficial. Hmm. Although he won't increase the damage of Maim itself, he may increase other abilities. My health, however, is already low. As you can see, these all come with ups and downs. Although I really do enjoy Chaos's boons, I think this time I'm actually going to pass and move on Off to being able to purchase something from Karen. That was a bad choice. Let's go ahead and pick up a Sensar Heart. You, mate. Some health. And I don't want to have Dionysus in the mix. Mainly because I'm not sure what he could provide me to be a guaranteed benefit. So let's go ahead and move on. Artemis is a halfway decent boon. We'll see what we can get from her. Uh, maybe perhaps just a critical chance uh, for what we need to use main. Where my experience with ranged weapons more shows. As well, I love my melee friends. They are much harder to pull off. Just back off and let that do its work. There we go. Let's see. Hello again. Excellent. So I actually like both Artemis' aid and pressure points. Pressure points obviously is a critical chance on all my attacks. This can be really nice and 3% isn't terrible but hmm, that's going to take a long time for it to proc on maim or many of my other abilities but I do really like Artemis's call. Realistically if I can go ahead and get that maxed out when it's time to fight Hades that's really going to benefit me from a long distance when I need to be able to go in, throw in a maim, but stay away for all the damage that he does and launch something. So I think I'm going to pick up this instead. Artemis, guide my hand. going to go ahead and choose here to visit the NPC. I'm already kind of making too many mistakes when it comes to the melee and close range damage. As you can see, I, I keep taking damage. I'm not perfect, obviously, and uh, it's something where I need to find some sort of way to compensate. So, let's see. Um, Sing when you're happy. We, of course, can increase the likelihood of our boons. None of them are really defensive, though. We could, of course, increase their overall damage capability. Again, none of them are really defensive, though. I kind of like the idea of making my next few boons more powerful. See if we can't increase our defense. So let's go ahead and pick that. Here, enjoy. Especially when our offensive Ooh, abilities good. are already so good. Looks like it's sending us straight to Charon. What does he have to offer? Apparently, the game just wants me to pick Dionysus. Much better. Let's get some health, and we'll, let's give him a shot. I can use this. see here the nectar is good however it doesn't happen so often that you receive it so I'm not so sure about the life gain uh, we're not gonna be casting not gonna be the best and we don't want to lose our dash that we have let's reroll see what we can what find. Else we got? 
my goodness. Okay, I think that's actually a great option here. Let's pick After Party. A full 50% of your health guaranteed. As long as the battle ends in your favor, you're going to be restored to 50%. That can't be anything but good. Let's take it. Should help keep me going. Just how I feel, Ernie. Mm, so just like before, lots of dashing and Washa going in and out. So let's go ahead and get everything crocked on him and then try our best to avoid. Quite perfect. But it <laughs> heads for now. Of course, the other thing to keep in mind is just because you lost a death encounter, or, uh, you know, a death defiance rather, doesn't you know we'll guarantee you that you're going to have a major problem uh, or that it's going to be impossible to finish the game. Uh, keep in mind, you can encounter these shots along the way. As you can see, they can give you a kiss of sticks. And in the third act, there is an NPC that can actually restore all of your death defiance getting you back in the game again so don't don't consider a, a, a death to be a guaranteed uh, ruiner of experience especially if you also have access to the tooth later on that i'll demonstrate actually i guess i can show it to you now Try up here on the upper right hand corner there's the lucky tooth it's essentially one more resurrection it does only give you a flat 100 health but uh obviously that's one more resurrection in case you have any trouble and I might pick that up towards the end but for the moment I don't really need it just yet let's stay here with the palm and move on to the next area take me up Check. everything's so green mm, money or Hermes. Hermes is always a great benefit. I mean, if I had a bigger thing I was trying to purchase for, I might consider money, but Hermes either gives you speed, or he gives you attack speed, or he gives you something great. Or sometimes even money, of course. So when in doubt, Hermes. Side hustle, perfect. Now here goes. Here, fishies. I got one. Great. Another clam. Don't always announce it out loud. I don't traditionally, but just figure it's kind of uh, nice to know. You kind of can see I'm paying attention. Hmm. Both of these are good choices. We do want more health, but I do want the hammer effect. 
you can pretty much guarantee a hammer eventually. It's just a question of, do I want to sacrifice a hammer now and the benefits it may give so that way I can get a full 25 extra health? Or do I want to pick up the hammer now and negate the health? Um, under the circumstances, let's pick up the health because of our boon earlier we picked up with Dionysus. Technically, it just increases how much health we'll have at the end of the battle no matter what. It's always 50%. It'll go from 100 to 115. And like I said, you're pretty much guaranteed at some point to get two hammers as long as you pick it up at, uh, at one of the different angles that it's off. So. Almost finished with these. could pick up the Chimera Jerky, but I'd like to save just in case I get another opportunity for the Kiss of Sticks, so I'm going to hold off on that. idea of positive outlook. Let's go ahead and pick that one up. Feeling good. Hmm, we could use some more Aries, and double boons are always a good thing, so let's go ahead and pick that up. A fruitful gesture. Hmm. Having Doom take a little bit longer is kind of a downgrade, but at the same time it'll match up closer with the maim effect plus 65% damage is nothing to scoff at. Let's go ahead and check that. Of course, Artemis will be upset, but we should be able to finish the round and get her boom too. She won't let this go. these really benefits here so let's re-roll what else we got hmm, again since I can't really critical none of these benefit us but let's try one more re-roll here uh, excellent okay so at least we can pick up pressure points probably not the best of options but you work with what you got hmm spend our money which we could save for sticks defiance or pick up another Aries boom let's pick up Aries Butterfly ball. Hey, 
these are all interesting choices, but obviously the first two are, they'd be for a different build, so. After slaying a foe, your next attacker special deals more damage, we do your special a lot, and of course slay a lot of foes. So let's just go ahead and pick that up. Excellent. Okay, so from here, let's go ahead and choose the NPC option. Restore that death defiance. Oh, I want Thanks for this. As I start to move along, I have noticed that it's become increasingly difficult to prompt the main effect exactly when I want it. And I honestly believe it to be due to the title effect of the Siren Dash. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try dropping that. As I don't have anything that's directly based off of it, it's going to not necessarily cause me a lot of harm in my overall uh, build, uh, other than, of course, just losing the damage from the dash. But as I feel like it's inconsistent with uh, my ability to proc that main effect, plus as if those something that are riding the controls, I, I don't wish to... This build is definitely, it's far more dangerous than it looked to be originally. Of course, that's something that we learn as we just go along. I'd like to get some more money, though, as I do want to be able to give myself a chance to, to buy things as I get closer to the boss fight. Yeah, once again, I really do feel as if the dash is actually hurting us. Okay, so once I get the opportunity to, I will go ahead and sell that build. demonstrate how to become as best of a gamer as you can, and really how anybody can move forward and, and make, you know, mistakes, or at the very least, experiments. Dionysus again. Not particularly fond of any of those. Let's go and re-roll once more. Something else. Excellent. Let's go and choose strong drink. This is actually going to be a little bit helpful, although we wanted to, if we could have, we would have wanted to get it much earlier in the run, as every single time you access a fountain, both in between areas and those that are given to you freely occasionally as part of a room, it increases your damage each time. So that would have been quite helpful, but at least we'll get a damage boon from it. To my health. Monster. 
moment longer. <laughs> focus but <laughs> we did get the finish hopefully we can extend that luck on into Hades himself who's obviously significantly harder or at least I would say for this kind of build luckily we get full health off the fountain as it mentioned plus a little bit of damage but I am gonna go ahead and switch to the tooth because even if I can afford the ability to purchase a death defiance or two I really don't want to lose out on my own so excellent a kiss of sticks and let's save our cash for any others that might be available. And as I mentioned, let's see about selling this title dash. Oh, that's cold. Great. Got it. What's with the air up here? Okay, so there's some options to choose from, but I'm not sure if I want to spend anything on it right there. Yeah, let's go ahead and move on and see what's available in the caves. Got Poseidon again, we definitely don't want his dash. Could use the life... Okay, let's go ahead and start first with the centaur heart, then we'll go to Hermes and go from there. Ah, uh, much better, as you can see a profit now. time <laughs> So we live and we learn, in this case we don't want to mix the two. As mentioned before, that ding equals fish time, so let's see if we can grab it. Maybe 
idiots in here. we can pick up Hydrolyte, which will give us a little bit of health between each room, so that certainly won't hurt. Recovery might be a bit of a clinch for us here after taking damage quickly dash to recover some of your lost health. 50% of the damage taken. Well, we dash a lot. Let's give that a try. Oh, good. Okay, so Still full health fresh. off of the, the pod naturally, plus the 3% damage increase. So we've got the one lucky tooth, and we've got a whole bunch of money. Let's see if we can get out of this. the options but just try to pick what I thought might be best After under the circumstances we may not win it's not necessarily how all the weapon showcases are gonna go. go it doesn't mean we're gonna win quite solidly but it's kind of to give you an impression of what you're working with what options I thought might be interesting things like that so let's give Hades a shot we have one resurrection at least we have full health we got some interest abilities if we can keep away from him and of course take advantage of what we have we might be able to still win been waiting long. Again, you see. Let's do it. Dogs. Prepare.
folks. This is it. I have something for you. So got a chance though here. Maximum left. Ow! Oh! And we go down. Close fight, but uh took bro hits at just the wrong time. Anyway, so as you can see, really, there's oh, there's a lot of variables surprise. to choosing a more close in weapon like that, going with a more heavy, you know, damage approach, not enough defense. We still got pretty close, but gives you kind of an idea for what style you'll be looking for. Well, thanks for joining me here tonight. Really, I've had quite a bit of fun. And, uh, you know, it's not always about winning every single run. That's not how Hades works. And you may see people pulling off uh, nothing but successful runs every time, but I think it's good to have an organic, nice, you know, this is my good attempt, this is me trying it with the sort of the glass cannon approach, and hey, I got close to the end, didn't work, no big deal, I'll be able to try it again some other time. But I really hope you've enjoyed my video today, uh, I, like I said, it's been quite a bit of fun, it's enjoyable to demonstrate some skills and, and things that we can do in games like this and hopefully you've had a lot of fun watching but if you'd like go ahead and give a comment down below or like my video if you really enjoy this kind of stuff please uh, don't hesitate to give me a subscribe or reach out to me through the comments or through messaging um, and thanks again for joining my channel I hope you have a great night take care